job hunting is tough, whether you're just graduating from school or laid off and looking. Here are some strategies to help. Please welcome back the host of the So Money podcast, Farnoosh Tarabi. So money. So money. So money. All right, let's start with applying for a job. What are some tips? Well, first, I don't want anyone in this audience to overwhelm themselves. Don't think you're going to just blast your resume off and that's going to be the ticket to your success. Think quality over quantity. Have a strategy. Stay focused. Mm, okay, so when you send out your resume um, to job postings, what's What the, are you doing? What yeah. are you doing? Because so, our kids are constantly asking us like about their resume to look at their resumes to which us is good. but to us they seem foreign now like <laughs> resumes are very different than right. what they used to look so like so it's important to counsel with people in your industry your peers can i see your resume there are resume workshops but when it comes to applying online we think that it's a numbers game. Let me just send out as many into resumes as possible right. into the abyss. Right. That is a waste of time. You want to apply to companies where you have an in, where you may know somebody or somebody who knows somebody. Yeah. Oh. Very important. And, and speaking of relationships, Mark, I mean, a lot of us may think, well, I'm new to the job market. I don't have relationships, but do you have a neighbor? Do you have someone you go to church with? Do you have someone you play pickleball with? I mean, all of these people know people, and I'm sorry to say, but it is about who you know, how that's gonna get your resume to the top of the pile. I have a friend applying for jobs right now, virtual jobs, remote jobs. Right. And you can see how many people are applying, 2,000 people. Yeah. Right. I mean, she just skips those jobs unless she knows somebody who can help her out there. So it's okay to go to people you know. It is. Because there's so much talk about, oh, nepotism this and nepotism that, I mean, but I feel like there's so so, I mean, it's, that's all industry. Start with people who can speak about your professional capabilities. You know, mm -hmm. whether that's someone that had, you had a summer job somewhere, somewhere you had an internship. Um, it could be just someone you had a good team relationship with at school, at college, your professor, mm -hmm. all these people. What they're looking for is just someone to, to validate your work ethic, that you show up on time, yeah. you're nice to work with. Yeah, that's important because they want, the people want to spend time with you. They, they got to know that they want to be around you. And right? I want to make sure we get to this tip because this is something that we often skip, especially when we're young adults or if you're laid off mm -hmm. and you're feeling insecure about asking for a, a new job, negotiate. Negotiate. Uh, when you get the job yes. offer, so we're skipping to getting the job offer now. Okay. Please negotiate. Uh, don't be insecure about this. And employers expect us to negotiate. What if they say final offer? If they say final offer, Mark, what you say is, okay, I get that maybe the pay is the final offer, but what about health benefits, vacation? Pro tip, some people are actually negotiating their severance before accepting the job, because we're all real, right? We know Whoa. that this job may not exist Why in a year. I think of that? It's, it's like <laughs> a corporate oh prenup. Imagine yes. a corporate prenup. Like, I want to know what I'm going to get in the event of a layoff. Some employers ask you for your previous salary. Yeah. What do you think about that? Abort. Yes, abort, right. abort, please. And in fact, in over 20 states. You don't states, have to give them an answer. You right? don't. You can say, I, I really want to focus on this job. It's not relevant what I used to make. But also be careful because some states, it is illegal. It's illegal to ask a, a candidate what their salary history has been. No kidding. This is a ticket for employers to lowball you. Trust me. You want to make as much as you can in the next job. What you made previously is sort of irrelevant. It's all about what the job market pays. You can research this and what your skills are and how aligned you are with that job. Amazing. Listen, we gotta take a commercial break. Uh, more job hunting tips with Farnoosh <laughs> when we come back. This is so good. We're back with Farnoosh Trabi, who's giving us great advice on finding jobs, securing employment, whether you're just early in the job market or looking for a job in between jobs. Do people still use cover letters yeah. with their resumes. It sounds so old school, it does. but I will tell you it can be a great differentiator in this sea of job applicants because people skip this step. Look, if the employer says, I'm sorry, we don't want cover letters because we're looking through a thousand applications, right honor that. But if they do want the cover letter or they don't specify, please write a cover letter. Pro tip, keep it concise, but show your personality and supplement the resume. So you don't want to repeat what's already on your resume. You want to say like why you think you're really qualified, how you've been spending your time off. How, how about, about a this? headshot? How about this? Look, <laughs> you look definitely no Mark, should do the headshot. Yeah, that will work for you. Yeah. Right. You do the headshot. <laughs>
<laughs> That's a great idea. Um, okay, speaking about like some pro tips too, a couple more. One is, I know we all want full-time benefits paying jobs. That's mm -hmm. ideal. But right now with the economy, a lot of employers are not able to, to hire full-time, but they can do project-based, temp-based freelance. Okay. And this has worked in my favor. I've gotten laid off. And in some cases, you go back to that employer and you say, if you if you still like to work for them yeah. and say hey would you be open to maybe a project or a three month or a six month term we had some unfinished business before I left I'd love to you know leave with uh, some some strings tied now this is something that's in the news a lot and constantly and all the time and we always tell our kids this it surprises me that nobody seems to know this by now, that employers will look at your online, online profile, yes. profile yes. and they are paying attention to what you're posting and they really take all of that into Or even likes, consideration. Really liking. Oh, I don't know about yes. the, well, the, well, you know, it's all accessible. Yeah. It's yes. all accessible. Yeah. It's all out there. I tell my kids this. They're they're not, you know, job applicant age yet, but right. it's important to get this educated young because your social media, whatever is said about you online, Google yourself before you start the job application process. See what's out there. If you don't like what's out there, the, the key is to drive the traffic to the sites where you want the eyeballs, your LinkedIn page, your profile page, your, your website, your blog. Is it important to enhance your, your skills, your education through this process? It's so important, especially I think in particular fields like education and technology mm -hmm. where things are evolving. Mm -hmm. And this isn't about going back to get a master's. You can actually just take a workshop online. Stanford University has free online classes. My father did this in his 60s. He got laid off. He works in tech. He pivoted a little bit, took a year, studied online, all free classes, got a full-time gig. He's 70 now, wow. and he's still working full-time. Good That's for him. Great. Okay. Best advice for recent graduates. Well, we've got a couple in the audience. Yeah. Okay, recent graduates. Recent graduates, okay. raise your hands. Raise so, your hands. Um, advice for you and your parents, get out there. You know, don't wait at home for the perfect job, the dream job. It doesn't exist in your <laughs> 20s. It's all about going to work somewhere where they're going to invest in you. They might mentor you. Of course, the pay should be good too, mm -hmm. but also a job that invites you indoors, right? I want you to be out there meeting people. Don't be behind a computer all the time. Think about when you were starting out in your career, like actually going on the job mm -hmm. was instrumental. All those networks, all those relationships become your currency as you uh, grow in, in your career. Did you get that? Did you, get you write that? it down? <laughs> <laughs> you're you're yeah. still not looking for I mean, look, a job. We all you? want the job. Yeah. We yeah. all want the job that's like, oh, free massages after lunch, sushi bar. Yeah, but I like, don't know where those I mean, jobs are. Reserve like, I parking read, space. I read yeah. about these jobs all the time where people are like, oh, and they have a, a they have a, a, a what, what are those balls called that you jump in? A ball pit ball room. Pit. Oh they have God. a ball pit room and a Lego room, and I'm like, who is doing that? And why? <laughs> <laughs> How are they getting any How work done? How are they getting work done? Right. Exactly. So these are, these great, are tips. great tips. You're welcome. Yeah, this has been great. For all these great tips and more, go to livewithtellingmark.com.